Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe Character Animator CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to compute lip sync for your characters using pre-recorded audio. I used Adobe Audition to pre-record the dialogue for my characters, but you can use any audio recording tool that you want. And when you're exporting the audio file for each character, you can save it in a variety of formats, such as the uncompressed.wav, or you can choose an MP3 audio file. Both will be able to import into Adobe Character Animator. So now I have a voiceover or the dialogue track recorded for each of my characters saved to their own individual audio files. I'll open up Adobe Character Animator and bring in those audio files. I can just double click right in the project bin navigate to those audio files and click import. Note that I am on the record tab in animator and I have my scene open that contains both characters. Now I'm going to go and select the character number one audio file that I recorded in Adobe Audition and drag that below character number one on the timeline. If I tap the spacebar, notice that the character's mouth is not moving. Hi there, my name is Tull. I am character number one. To fix this, first, I'm gonna make sure that my character number one is the only character armed for recording. All I have to do is click on it to select it, and I know it's armed for recording when I see that little red circle. I will then select the audio track. So I have the audio track. I know which track it's going to sync to because of the armed for recording icon. Then I'm gonna to go to the top menu, click on timeline, and choose Compute Lip Sync Take from Scene Audio. I'll click, Animator is gonna analyze the scene. I'll tap the spacebar to preview and notice the character's mouth. Hi there, my name is Tull. I am character number one. Perfectly lip sync to the audio. Cool. Let's repeat for character number two. So I'll go to the project panel and I'll select character number two audio file that we recorded in Audition. I'll drag it below character number two on the timeline. I can see by the little red circle that character number one is currently armed for record. So I'll just click on the circle or on the character number two and now character number two is armed for recording. I'll select the audio file that I want to sync with character number two. And I'll go up back to the timeline and choose the same option, compute lip sync take from scene audio, click, if I tap the space bar, hi there, my name is Sam. I am character number two. Hi Sam, I am really excited to meet you. And after computing the lip sync, if you twirl open a character, you'll see that a lip sync track has been created along with a track called Vizemes. And the Vizemes refers to the shape of the mouth. This is what makes the lip syncing look realistic in animations. For example, if you get to the letter O, you'll see the mouth shape corresponds to letter O and you can make adjustments to the lip sync as long as the character is selected, you'll see a lip sync section over in the properties panel. And that is how you can take pre-recorded audio files and compute the lip syncing in Adobe Character Animator CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.